Oh yeah, I've let him know. I've let him know. This is this is this is slight. So it feels good out here. Weather's been good. And just excited. You see any gators out there alongside the field? What's that? We got gators out there, you know. Oh, are, are you being for real? Yeah, I know. Yeah. I would think Justin has got offensive line because he's been getting to know some of the guys and kind of getting everything lined up with the offense. I mean, it's been an adjustment just because of the transfers we had come in after spring ball. So, I mean, just getting to know those guys, um, you know, spending, spending time with them outside of the facility and things like that was really big for us. And like I said, we did a lot of that in the summer. So uh, it's been good to be out here with these guys and, you know, get the, get the whole group together uh, out on the field and just try and get better every day. How do you feel your communication with the receivers? <clears throat> uh, I think it's been good. I mean, I thought we, <clears throat> thought we needed to correct some things from today, kind of a little sloppy at the end. And you see that with – first couple of days in fall camp, you know, guys getting tired, you know, guys don't have their legs right and in shape yet. So uh, things can be a little off, but uh, I think it's been good. You know, I obviously think we have a long way to go, but I think we're in a good spot right now. I just need to keep working every day. And when you decided to, to play your last year somewhere else, what did you envision? What did, what did you want to accomplish that you felt like you needed a, a new school to accomplish? Uh, just go somewhere where, you know, I can play, play good for one year and then play in the NFL. So that's what I'm trying to do here. How much different is it uh, fall camp with all those extra linemen now that you've got, you know, the, the transfers and the freshmen where you had like eight guys one day yeah. in, the, in the spring? I mean, we could just do so much more at practice. You know, we're actually, you know, talking about run schemes and things like that, and we're able to, you know, uh, go against scouts and, you know, go, go live against each other and things like that. So it's really big to have the whole group out there uh, for fall camp. What are the, some of the communication challenges <coughs> with so many new guys? Uh, I mean... <clears throat> I say the biggest thing is not just new guys, but a whole new scheme. Uh, so, I mean, everybody learning the scheme, everybody coming together, uh, you know, and just doing their job on that specific play. So, uh, kind of a combination between the new guys and the new scheme is uh, probably the biggest challenge. It sounded like maybe you were a little upset during that first install period today. Did you think the offense responded and kind of pulled the giddy up a little bit? Yeah, no, I wasn't upset. I was just trying to just push the tempo and, you know, drive guys. You know, we have an, we have an off day tomorrow, so a lot of time guys are just uh, trying to come out here and, uh, you know, not, not, not get by, but, you know, a lot of guys are thinking about that off day tomorrow and things like that. So uh, as a quarterback, you know, just trying to drive the tempo, uh, trying to get guys going and, you know, trying to uh, have a good day of practice. Three practices in, where do you see the most room for improvement for this team? Mm, that's a good question. Uh... I mean, probably like from a communication standpoint, like I was talking about, you know, I mean, we're three practices in, you know, we're still installing offensively uh, and I'm sure defensively as well. But uh, from a communication standpoint of just learning the scheme, uh, communicating the scheme, you know, talking to the receivers, telling them what I'm seeing, you know, all that, all that fun stuff. So uh, practice three, you know, probably just you know, getting on the same page with everybody and communicating and be able to execute a play. It's a lot of relationships to build in a short period of time. Is there is there one or two that's, that's kind of closer than the others? Uh, I mean, I wouldn't say anybody's just like closer. You know, obviously, you know, it's a challenge for me, you know, because the quarterback's kind of got to kind of be the voice in the locker room and, you know, had such a uh, short time period to do it. And it's kind of like the weird thing of like, you know, I don't want to step on anybody's toes or anything like that. I mean, these, these teams just played the national championship. So it's kind of a weird situation for me. Uh, but, you know, I try and just, you know, be the hardest worker every single day and let, let guys see that. And I try to do that uh, – in winter workouts, so I mean, guys like you know, Guard, uh, Bruner, Drew Fowler, uh, Cameron Sermon, some of those guys have been really good for me to uh, you know be around. You know, they've been here for a while, been in the program for a while, so it's good to be uh, good to be around those guys. How hard is it to complete a pass against the Cushions? What's that? How hard is it to complete a pass against the Cushions? Price? It seems like he's really. Oh no, he's done really well. He's done really well. I'm really impressed with him. Uh, you know, 